Welcome to this video on new entrants into agriculture. Why are we focusing on new entrants into agriculture? New entrants into agriculture contribution to rural regeneration is widely acknowledged. They favor generational renewal of farms and contribute to develop economic, cultural and social activities at local and sometimes at regional level. Who are they? New entrants are persons that start a professional existence in farming or that are integrated into an existing farm. New entrants may or may not be rural newcomers. New entrants may or may not have a family farming background. They can enter farming at any stage of their working lives, with the status of full-time, part-time or salaried farmer. What do they do? New entrants practice, produce and bring new knowledge, new point of view and consequently new narrative on rural areas, including enhancing food literacy and more awareness on new rural jobs. For example, in Italy, the association Casa dell'Agricoltura Tullia Gino promotes a new narrative on agriculture and rural areas through the organization of events, public debates and cultural activities. Most of new entrants have a great networking capacity that favors the development of rural-urban connection and of a bottom-up governance approach. An example of this capacity is, is illustrated in this map of a French farm network where different actors are shown. Local actors are in yellow, while national actors are in blue. There are actors that support and advise the farm, such as agricultural and rural development organization. There are actors that guarantee the access to the land, and there are political organizations, such as farmer unions. Finally, there are citizens and other farmers showing the involvement of the farm in the territory. Multifunctional farming is widely developed among new entrants. This approach reconnects agriculture to society. The farms produce agricultural products and offer different services to society, for instance by selling products in farm shops, on farmer markets or through food box schemes. Other services may relate to processing products, education, care and tourism. Examples include educational farms, care farms and agritourism. Multifunctional farming, therefore, could offer a social stability to the community as well as contribute to build more resilience through farming, training and community building. New entrants are deeply aware of the impacts of their style of farming and, where opportunities are given, they embody biodiversity and environment protection in sustainable agricultural methods. They also show a prominent openness to social and technological innovation, whether stemming from education or from world vision. They are able to bring together different cultures of innovation, moving from ethical choices to economic and market reason of innovation. Small-scale agroecological and multifunctional farms promoted by new entrants contribute to address rural disparity, increasing female participation into farming. Women seem to be more involved in processing and marketing farm products, in the administrative tasks and in the educational and recreational activities. However, bias against women, especially young women, still exists in many countries. It seems that gender inequalities in rural areas and the gender issue in general are still an open question, hardly discussed and not specifically addressed. Innovative organizational models that can favor the establishment of new entrants are a multi-actor governance involving farmers, politicians, local community, indeed bringing together to several stakeholders who rarely communicate together, favors knowledge transfer, information availability, support to common projects, etc. Second, the creation of wider networks to raise awareness among school students on rural jobs, 
contributing to change practice and mentalities around agriculture and food. An example is the Finland Association for Rural Profession, which includes university, vocational school, union farmers, forest owners, municipality, banks and enterprises. The association organizes farm visits and public events. These activities are useful to show that the rural profession are really one choice among others, both to youth and adults. Then we have farm incubators, specifically oriented to new entrants into agriculture. They offer different services like training, access to land and to the market. More experienced farms share knowledge and infrastructure with new entrants, helping them to create their own farm. And finally, there are farms with a collective organizational structure. Farm management may involve different actors, such as farmers, citizens, local municipalities and institutions. These farms are managed mainly by cooperative or association, helping new entrants to get into agricultural activities, overcoming issues such as access to the land and high startup costs that are mutualized. What about public policy? There is actually a lack of specific policy measures targeting new entrants into farming. Specific policies that, that can be promoted include more widespread localized food policies and public procurement, integration in formal educational curricula of new sustainable agricultural methods, collection of statistical data on new entrants into agriculture, promotional and institutional support to farm incubators.